Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Kerry Farlow. I serve as the associate pastor here at Community Church at Ocean Pines. And thanks for joining me for this devotional. What is your life? That's a tough question to answer. Uh, the book of James says, you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Well, the big news uh, Sunday night as my wife and I were laying in bed watching TV, aimlessly scrolling through our social media accounts was the death of beloved actor and comedian Bob Saget. At the time of preparing this devotional, uh, there's no real explanation to his death other than he was found in his hotel room at the age of 65 and there didn't appear to be any foul play or drugs involved. I grew up watching uh, Bob as Danny Tanner on Full House and we only had three channels in my house and although Full House wasn't one of my favorite shows, I really didn't have a lot of other options. Uh, but we would gather together as a family on Sunday nights and watch Bob's other show, America's Funniest Home Videos. And I still remember some of the videos and the laughs we had together as a family and those were good times. The news of Bob Saget's death has hit people pretty hard, especially people my age. Uh, Danny Tanner on Full House kind of served as a surrogate dad, I think, for a lot of kids who were uh, stuck at home in front of the TV. Bob Saget sent out a tweet about 12 hours before he died, saying what a wonderful night he had after he had been performing in Jacksonville. Uh, he said he was looking forward to the rest of the summer and his tour dates and his whole schedule for 2022 was uh, on that tweet. He had no clue that within 12 hours, he was gonna be dead. Now, we all make plans. We make plans for the weekend, for holidays. We make plans for retirement. We make plans for dinner, but there's no guarantee that we're gonna see him, uh, just like Bob and his plans for his comedy tour. Now, I'm not suggesting that we don't make plans. Um, we just can't sit around waiting for death to inevitably come. Uh, we need to make plans, we need to live, but we need to do so remembering the words of Scripture. And again, the book of James says, Now listen, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why? You don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. What is your life? You're a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. We all have the tendency, even as believers, to ignore the one thing in life that's guaranteed, uh, physical death. Uh, there's only one guy that ever made it out alive, and that's Christ. Uh, I'm going to make plans. I'm going to look forward to the future. But I'm also sticking with the only one who's ever made it out of here alive. I encourage you to hug your kids, hug your grandkids, love your neighbors, live life to its fullest, and by all means, make plans, but keep Jesus in those plans. I hope this blessed you in some way. Until next time, thanks again. God bless.